All right, so here's the rapid fire. I've got some questions for you. Are you ready? All right, yeah. All right. Who has been the biggest influence in you other than me? Uh, well, I mean, my, uh, my co-founder and leader, Narayan Murthy, is one. And, uh, yeah, and Bill Gates also has been very supportive. That's pretty good. One superpower you wish you had? Uh, I wish I was more ambitious. <laughs> That's quite the statement, especially with this crowd. Yeah. Why are you not on any instant messaging app? I don't, I find all of them are a complete waste of time. So I just, and if somebody wants to reach me, they can. So. Just don't build any instant messaging apps here, founders. One accomplishment that you're most proud of? I think the two big things being part of Infosys and transforming India's private sector and of course contributing to Aadhaar and building India's DPI, both these things. It's awesome. Uh, people describe you in a lot of ways. Tech visionary, digital evangelist, India's chief tech strategist. Which out of these is closest to who you are? Um, I don't know. Maybe, since I actually don't do anything, probably the visionary part. I like that. I like that. Uh, and then um, last one. What's your favorite work day time waster? What gets you distracted? Sleep. Other than, other than uh, uh, instant messaging. Sleep. Sleep? Very good. I'll take that. Great. Excellent. I want to ask you, you know, one person we both know is Barry Diller. Yes. You work with Barry. I know Barry because give him pledge. So what have you learned from Barry Diller? Um, you know, the, the most important lesson that, that I learned for uh, Barry Diller is that it's the job of the leader to lead by doing the exceptional. I still remember one, one advice that Barry gave me is, uh, I went through a plan with my team. I wanted to go through with a plan. And, and he said, Dara, I didn't hire you to be average. You know, because I didn't want to leave my team down. And he's like, your team's recommendation is the average recommendation of all their teams. You know what's wrong. You've got to, you know, there are times when the leader go with the team and there are times where the leader has to be exceptional and has to go off the norm. So he, he you know, Barry's fearless. And when I first started working with them, I was a little fearful. Okay. Uh, and, you know, all of us need a little fearlessness, all these founders over here. And, and he taught me to be fearless when, when you know, times are tough. Great. How do you, how do you keep learning and adapt, adapting? Like, I saw you in the meeting today. You're very intense. You're very curious about things. How do you do that? Uh, I love listening. You know, I, I think that one of the um, really underrated skills that there, there, there are all kinds of courses on presentation skills, how to present. I've never seen a skill in business school on how to listen. And <laughs> I think good. listening is a really underrated ability. Like it's, it, Great point. I, I, I take it in, I'm a sponge. I, so much of what I've learned in my life is based on listening to others. So we talked about autonomous cars. When do you think we'll have a world without drivers? Never. Never, okay, that's good. Okay. And when you go in the Uber as a customer, yes. do, you, do you talk to the drivers? Oh, yeah. What I definitely ask, chat them What do you ask them, them about? Usually, I, I actually, the, um, most drivers are immigrants like me, so I love immigrant stories. I came from Iran yeah. uh, when I was nine years old. Family lost everything. We rebuilt our life in, in the U.S. So I just ask them where they're from. And usually then they tell me their stories. Yeah, a couple of minutes before I, I get there, I say, you know, how's Uber going for you? You know, do you like it? Do you not like it? Etc. cetera. Uh, so I try to get my the little bit of Uber goodness right at the end. But usually the best question is, where are you from? And do you tell them what you do? Um, if I usually don't, okay. uh, some of them recognize me. If they recognize me, I tell them who I am. Yeah. So you're an immigrant leading other immigrants? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And finally, what is so exciting about Uber in India? Um, it, the, I think that India is one of the toughest markets out there. It is, you know, the Indian customer is so demanding and doesn't want to pay for anything. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, if, I view if Uber can make it in India, and I would say, like, our team is really making it here. This is, this is the best of times for Uber in India. I'm so proud of the team. But India is the gateway to the world for us. This is, this is the toughest market to succeed in. But if we succeed in here, 
that sets a standard for us to succeed in so many other markets. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much.